Wolfsburg is also the president of the uh, Academy of Science. No, he wants to comment on it. Um, my gut feeling is that um, bioterrorism is very unlikely in this country, but we better be prepared. My gut feeling was also that July the 22nd was impossible in this country, but it did happen. Um, I'm working for Department of Defense in U.S., in Georgia, to prepare for biological warfare and the threat it has to human beings. As a matter of fact, my boss is uh, Andy Weber, who uh, Lisa uh, Bronson trained. Uh, so there are some links here. Um, I think U.S. is taking this seriously. Um, every once in a while I think you're overdoing it uh, a little bit. Uh, but it's better, it's better to overdo it than be uh, having a surprise. Earlier this year, and I have to be a bit diplomatic here because um, I, I won't give my sources. Earlier this year I gave a, a talk about some of the work we have been doing on plague. That's what I'm doing, we're working on, uh, the black death, you in uh, Kazakhstan and uh, China and that region. I gave a talk uh, in one of the Scandinavian uh, capitals. I thought it was a good talk. Uh, the Norwegian representative from one of the uh, governmental offices came up to me and said, well, Nils Kistan, this was a very, very nice talk. But it is of no relevance to us in Norway. And this was after about a year, a little bit more than a year after the 22nd of July. I thought I should faint there and then, but I didn't. I think we have to be prepared. I think, as the first speaker in this session said, that we have to maintain and develop scientific competence within these fields so that we really have a basis for being prepared. I thought I wanted to share this uh, with you. I'm a biologist uh, uh, doing uh, biological work. Uh, I'm an evolutionary biologist. And uh, as part-time, I'm the president of the Norwegian Academy of Science and uh, Letters. I really think it is important for the scientific community to be in a position to help the country be prepared. Thank you very much.